Hi everybody, this is Kev Johnson with another video blog post. Uh, today is Friday, um, for most people, payday or um, just a Friday. But it's the weekend and I'm feeling excited. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you today about is when you get on the phone talking to people, when you're dealing with the cold market or if you're dealing with someone that you don't know that normally doesn't you that that you really don't talk to a lot or anybody that you don't know personally when you call other people and you're making calls for your business or you're making some kind of um, contact especially in the cold market you only have four seconds literally four seconds to get their attention to move forward after four seconds you lost them Especially if you're talking with business partners, business people, people who would have very high influence. Um, you only have four seconds. And in that four seconds, you need to be sharp as I don't know what. You need to know, be sharp. You got to have posture and be sharp. And then if, the, the, the second thing is you need to be enthusiastic as I don't know what. You have to be enthusiastic like crazy. Like, hi, John. Hi, John. This is Caleb Johnson calling from whatever you, wherever you're from. You got you to have enthusiastic and you have to be sharp. You got to be on it and you got to know your craft. Those are the three things that really picks up someone's attention when you're making calls um, and you're talking to people, especially in the coal market, if you don't know them. You got to be sharp, enthusiastic, and you got to know your craft. You got to know your thing and you have, you have you got to be authority. You got to be influential and have to have authority over the phone because if he, dealing with business people and people who are already successful, they don't like, um, they don't, they want to be lead and followed. And if you come off cross, if you come across, hi, this is Caleb Johnson. Just give me a quick call. Click. You're done. Because I mean, if, if you're successful, think about it. If you're successful and you're running your successful company and you're making about six figures and someone calls you and saying, hey, Hey, hi, this is Caleb Johnson. That's a disassociation. People of higher power or higher influence, they disassociate themselves from people like you. So they won't be around people who have low, uh, low uh, influence, low influence, and low energy. It just brings people down. They they uh, associate themselves with people who are better than them. Just like Jim Rohn says, you associate. Which is associate with people that are better than you, um, and then you are you are who you are from the top five people you hang out with. So I mean, they're trying to hang, they're trying not to hang out with people like that, and trying to hang out with people who are better than them, so that it makes them better and they go up. So um, so then remember that when you're making calls and you're on the phone, make sure you're enthusiastic, um, excited. Uh, just come off as hey John, you just gotta be excited, you gotta get their attention. Be sharp, know your craft, use a script, definitely use a script. You got to have a script. All top um, sales people, all top um, network marketers, you know, even though you might say, well, I don't want to use a script because I'm going to sound like I'm going to use a script. Well, memorize it. Memorize the script and then keep it up here. And then no matter how the call goes, you already know what you're going to say next in your head because you know the script. And the only thing you have to do is basically listen to the prospect and whatever rejection you have, you can, bam, come back with that rejection because you have that script in your head. You're like, okay, great. Well, you know, I don't have the much, I don't have much time. Well, I, I can understand that. I have a lot of people in, your, in the same um, shoes as you that didn't have much time. But I, what I realize is that blah, 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 blah. So you can go ahead and come back sharp. You can come back off that rejection, nice and sharp, enthusiastic, and uh, you know your craft, so you'll be able to uh, still attract that person, keep them on the phone. So you remember three things, so you'll be able to keep the person on the phone in the first four seconds is be enthusiastic, you gotta be sharp, know your craft, and you've got to uh, have authority over what you're saying. You gotta know what you're saying, use a script so you'll be able to dissect the call and take over control the call and because people like to be lead they want to be lead but if you're not someone that they can follow over the phone it's probably not someone that they can be able to follow in person and as a leader so 
So master that phone so you'll be able to con continue to connect with um, successful people and then they will follow you and um, you will be making uh, your goals and whatever you decide to do in, in your next career or business. So this is Caleb Johnson with another blog post, well, video blog post. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.